This morning, a World Health Organization scientist says samples taken from a wet market in Wuhan, China, show it likely played a role in the development of coronavirus. Either as the source of the outbreak or uh, an amplifying setting. But the WHO maintains such markets should be improved, not banned, given that millions of people around the world depend on them. Today, many of Wuhan's markets are open for business, though the ones suspected to be at the center of the outbreak remain shuttered. Last month, Dr. Anthony Fauci on Fox and Friends. It boggles my mind how when we have so many diseases that emanate out of that unusual human-animal interface that we don't just shut it down. President Trump has frequently blamed the WHO for an ineffective response to the global pandemic, threatening to stop paying dues. Today I'm instructing my administration to halt funding of the World Health Organization. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has said there is a significant amount of evidence the virus came from a Wuhan laboratory, but has also said there was no certainty. One theory of coronavirus is that it originated in bats, found its way into an endangered mammal called the pangolin before migrating into humans. But pangolins don't seem to get as sick as we humans do. And now a group of Austrian scientists think their unique immune system may hold the cure. Pangolins are the most illegally trafficked mammals in the world. So they are in high demand in places like Asia for their meat and for their scales. China has not allowed the WHO or any other external experts to join its investigation into the origins of the pandemic.